Welcome to the first video where I will show you how to set up the Expressworks uh, workshop itself. So to begin with I have this empty folder. So as you can see it's empty and uh, what I want to do is create some solutions in this folder but we will create solutions in the next videos. So first let's install the tool itself. The tool will provide us with uh, problems and then verify our solutions. So what I'm doing, I'm using NPM. You should have NPM installed already for this exercise. And then uh, the command is install. I'm using dash G to install this Expressworks tool globally. I hit the enter. The latest version is 3.2.0, which NPM will get by default. If you're using a higher version, uh, use it at your own risk. I would not recommend you to use a higher version if you're following this video. So you can see the location. So I can see I'm doing the list again and the folder is still empty. So that tells you that um, it's a global installation. It didn't install locally and you have this path here. You also see the version 3.2.0. Okay, that's great. Before we launch the GUI menu, I want to show you this list of commands. So I'll scroll up and uh, it shows you a list of all the commands that this, this workshop, this command line tool has. So for example, list, select, current, print, next. They're all the commands you can uh, use with this workshop. The two most important ones, run and verify. So run will run your program by providing the input necessary. So you don't need to create the input yourself unless you really, really want to understand how it all works. But that's a lot of time. Sometimes uh, there is a file, there is a path, you need to create that folder. So just use run. That's my recommendation. And then once you run the program, you need to verify it. So verification different because it would not give you all the errors, but it will also provide your program with the proper input. And then if it matches, if the output is matches the output of the solution, uh, your program will uh, complete this particular task, this particular adventure, and you can proceed to the next adventure. So you would go to the menu again and uh, work on that next solution. There is also reset, which will allow you to reset all the completed so you can retake this workshop. Uh, next current print also available for you. Uh, here's the link to the official API documentation. If you're confused about what routes, what static means, you want to look some more examples besides some of the examples that I provided in the workshop itself, you can do that by following this link. And uh, ExpressJS Guide, it's a book written by me about ExpressJS. There is a new ver version available. It's called ProExpress by A Press Publisher. And uh, if you have any issues, suggestions, or feedback, or you want to submit a pull request, just go to this uh, GitHub repository. And you can also check out another amazing workshops at notschool.io. So to launch the first adventure, you would type Expressworks. It doesn't matter what folder, but I'm using this newly created folder, empty folder, where I'll be writing the solutions. And then I start from the top and go to the bottom once I verify the solution. So the very first one is Hello World. So don't skip uh, the adventures because they build one on top of another. And if you speak French or Korean, uh, feel free to switch the language as well. Thanks to the contributors. They, got, they translated the interface and exercises. Okay, so I need to select the exercise. You can also select help from this menu. It's exactly the same as executing the command line. So let's go back to the menu and select the first exercise. 
So you can see we have some text and then uh, we have some commands as well. So that's pretty much what you need to do. You have this problem. You have some hints. To, don't look at the hints right away. And then once you're ready, what you would do, this works, you would run program one because this is the first step. And then you would verify it.